Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about account categories, their awesome thing in I-21 that prevents you from uh, actually making entries into accounts such as control accounts, such as accounts payable. So um, one thing I start out with the basic accounting, obviously when we enter a transaction, let's say we're entering a voucher and let's say it's a rent expense, we're going to hit a $500 debit to expense and a $500 credit to accounts payable. So that's done through our voucher entry screen inside of I-21. Now, one thing that we note that is the accounts payable should be short supported by a list of vouchers and payments, right? So at the end of the month, you want to run your accounts payable detail. You want it to tie to the general ledger. So if we were able to enter a transaction in the general ledger that say debited expense for 500 or debited accounts payable for $500 and credit expense to let's say quote unquote reverse the voucher that would be cool but that would throw the aging off because once you've posted a voucher there's nothing to take that voucher out of the system if you do a GL entry so if we ran an accounts payable aging under this scenario would show $500 and the GL would net to zero. So the whole point of account categories is that your debits equal your credits in control accounts and you don't have to manage those. So we've done that quite nicely, I think, with this implementation. So let me show you how that works inside of the general ledger. Inside of the general ledger, you'll note that when we look at GL account structure, there's multiple segments. There's primary account and then segments you control. The primary account dictates the category of the account and whether something's an asset or a liability or an expense, right? So our primary account is what we want to focus on today. And I'm going to look at the account segments and I'm going to look at the primary accounts and I'm going to look at an account that contains AP. And here you can see that this accounts payable account has hits the AP account category, right? So that says this is the AP account category. And what that does is, let's say I'm entering a voucher and I try and use that AP account, right? I won't be able to use that account in things like the expense area, right? But I will be able to see that account in the accounts payable selection. So here's all my accounts payable accounts, and you'll note I have a bunch, <laughs> first off. And second, you'll note they're all in the 2000 or the 2300 account series, which is where these accounts have been assigned the category of accounts payable account, right? So that's pretty cool there. You got that. I hope you have that concept. If it's not in the accounts payable um, category, it won't show up to be the AP account. Now the, on the converse side here too, let's say I'm entering um, rent expense and I'll go rent. Um, you will not be able to see that account from this account ID search box, right? Because, and I'll start with 2000, right? And you'll see that this account does not show up in that search box. Hi right, guys, today we're gonna start off and talk about account categories. Account categories are pretty cool. They're inside of General Ledger and what they allow you to do is make sure all your control accounts balance. So control accounts, what we're calling is like accounts payable. So accounts payable has in the General Ledger a balance, but it also has a sub ledger um, funded by the voucher entry that says, hey, here's all the things I owe, right? So the accounts payable account should sum to the accounts payable detail on any date, right, in the GL. So, and uh, what we're going to start out with, like a voucher entry and show you how this control works. So I've got a voucher entry here, and obviously the entry in the voucher would be $500 debit if it's an expense of $500 and accounts payable credit of $500. Now, let's say in the GL you let me hit the accounts payable account, well, in that case, when I run a detailed aging, the aging would show I have one voucher for $500, but the general ledger shows zero, causing an out of balance and causing a lot of distress, right? We don't want that distress. We want to get rid of that in I-21. So um, we don't let you enter into the accounts payable from the general ledger or any other place. So let me display how that works.
and 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 get you clear on that concept right <clears throat> so first i'm going to start with the category and uh, to do that i'm going to show you the actual chart of accounts so a chart of accounts is broken down into a primary account and as many other segments as you want. We're just gonna talk about the primary account. The primary account is where you apply the account category. So you'll note here that I have an account category of AP and my 2000s and 2013 accounts are assigned to that category as well as a couple others. But these are my two accounts that are assigned to AP, right? So, so what that means is I won't be able to make journal entries in this 2000 account. I'll only be able to use it from the accounts payable system and I'll show you how that works. When you're in a voucher and you're selecting an AP account, you'll know when I hit the search here that all I can see are the 2000 accounts and the 2013 accounts, that's it. Now, also in addition to that, let's say I wanna see that 2000 account and hit it on the debit side of the voucher is my expense account, which would be really bad. You'll note that it's not in here. If I put 2000 and I search for that, you'll note that it won't come up, right? I'll go ahead and put two. and search. And you'll see that the that account, that 2000 account does not come up, right? If I hit search. See, it starts at 4,200. That's because it won't let me use that 2,000 account as the expense side. That would create a problem. So it won't let me keep that account. I'll have to go and find a different account to use, an expense account. So in that manner, obviously, if you could use the AP account as the debit side of a voucher, you could debit and credit AP and also throw it out of balance. The same thing with a journal entry. I'll go into general journals and prove this point and finish off what account categories is, you'll note that I can't use the 2000 account here, right? Because, see, there's no data returned. Because that 2000 account is reserved, right, for the actual usage with respect to, uh, uh, with respect to uh, accounts payable. So I hope that clarifies why we're using account categories. I hope you like them. And let me know if you have questions.